Our next guest was one of my dear friends from the Los Angeles County High School for the Arts. You've seen her on Star Trek The Next Generation, NBC's Passions as Sheridan Crane, and as the host of Sci-Fi Channel's Face Off. Now she has a makeup line that's literally changing lives. Please welcome Mackenzie Westmore. Mackenzie, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. Just hanging in there. I know. I, I see you've been busy with QVC, just doing marathons. Yes, yeah. I uh, I was the Today Special Value, uh, April 28th, which meant that I started off uh, around 8 p.m. I set up to start an hour show at 9 p.m. L.A. time. And then I went around the clock and didn't finish till 9 p.m. Tuesday night. And I got about three hours sleep and tried to nap where I could. Did you but have enough tough. coffee? Yeah, I tried. <laughs> but when, when you get to that last like home run stretch of uh, 8 p.m., it's like, oh. <laughs> I, know. I was trying to get a hold of you on, on Wednesday, but I think you were pretty knocked out. <laughs> oh, I was passed out. I don't think I got out of bed till about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, man. I, I don't miss those days. I used to work uh, overnights, and it, it takes me two days to recover from like three days' work. Of over oh yeah oh it easily because it's i mean like that you know it's not even that i ended late i ended at 9 p.m la time but even still to not have a full night's sleep just can't can't do it anymore i know we've already lost track of the days now we're losing track i know we're losing track of time exactly <laughs> oh wow i i'm thank you so much for for doing this show i just wanted to feature you sure. know not just mamas, but business mamas, boss mamas, people that, mompreneurs that, that, mompreneurs, exactly. I mean, handling motherhood, it's one thing, but handling motherhood and a business, that's like yeah. having, you know, two babies already that you're, you're looking at and growing. So yeah, it uh, is. Westmore Beauty is my, my second child. <laughs> it is. I, it, well, it's like, you know, you, you, you come from a long line of Westmore makeup uh, companies or, or artists from from your dad to your grandpa and I think most of your relatives are pretty much with more makeup pretty much everybody yeah <laughs> yeah so I mean what, what what really got you into wanting to join the 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 family biz you know um I mean you know it's when we were in school together I was in acting I was in singing um but I did take some some makeup lessons and and I continued afterwards uh, I was always, you know, fascinated by it and interested in it. But at the end of the day, I wanted to be an opera singer and I wanted to be on TV or film and or Broadway was really my, my ultimate goal. And I went that path. Um, the thing was, though, is that I'll never forget when I was on Passions, which went on for nine years, which is amazing wow. for a soap opera. And thought, you know, here we, we moved over to Direct TV from NBC, and Direct TV came in and they said, you know, here's to 30 years on Direct TV. And then a couple months later, we were canceled. Then I bounced over to all my children for a little while, for about a year. Then there was nothing for a little bit. And then I got to face off, which I thought, okay, this is cool. You know, makeup show. This is fantastic that I'm on this makeup show and my dad is the mentor. And then the wheels started turning and I started thinking, okay, I was on a show before and it went under when we didn't think it would. This show's not going to go on forever. No show does. I need a backup plan. And I didn't see it as a backup plan, but I thought not... I thought I saw it more as my next step in life. And so, so that's when I started to formulate a makeup company and came up with some products and then took the concept and the idea to QVC because I thought, what better place than QVC? So um, brought them the, the family history and the story and the lineage of fourth generation. Um, you know, I started with my great grandfather being actually a wig maker to the Royal court in Winston Churchill's barber wow. and continued from there into makeup artistry. And the first makeup artist in Hollywood as Adolf Manju shaved off part of his mustache in silent films, didn't know what to do and ran into my family shop and they sewed together a piece of hair lace wig. And that was really the birth of a makeup artist in Hollywood because there was no such thing at that time. And then Thousand Films Under the Bell, you know, uh, Gone with the Wind, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Ten Commandments, um, you know, my dad doing Rocky and Raging Bull and all the Star Treks and Elizabeth Taylor's personal for 10 years. Uh, you know, there's so much great history and lineage there. I thought I've got to continue this on, you know, not just for myself, but for my family's history as well and to keep that history going. Wow. I remember 
hanging out at your your uh, your place back in the days, and I saw that Oscar from uh, I think it was Rocky. Uh, from Mask. From Mask, yeah, and I'm like, yes. Yeah, so uh, sorry, Mr. Westmore, about the fingerprints, but I had to. <laughs> <laughs> he never minds. Everybody always grabs it. <laughs> Is it? Maybe the only time I'll hold an Oscar. So, <laughs> but you, I mean, I, I remember your dad and I were were sitting at the pool, and he was giving me makeup advice. Like, yeah. I I pretty much said, how how do you get into it? And he's like, yeah, you got to go through, uh, uh, what do you call that? Um, you got trained under somebody and then you work apprenticeship. Your way up that, yeah apprenticeship mm-hmm. and yeah. i'm like yeah but and, and seriously though right after high school i ended up working for universal studios um being a, a character because they were trying to do their their halloween horror nights again and I, oh, I, yeah i and en- ended up being a makeup artist for for that time as soon as i got I my makeup that. done and i did makeup for about 12 other people uh, oh my before, God, I had no idea. Before, sorry, yeah, and you know, although you know, I didn't, I, I would have gotten gone that route if I didn't end up getting jobs doing stunts for for Power Rangers and for Universal because it's it's still one of my obsessions. I mean, as soon as Face Off came on, my family watched that re- religiously. That was like our one of our family times and like seeing, you know, how, how things are put together. So I might well, have I can to ask tease, your dad for a job I can tease again. a little something that I well, first of all, I am gonna. I think I'm gonna start doing a little something on Instagram Live for for Face Off fans. Oh, I'm awesome. gonna I'm gonna start doing something soon, but I can tease. I mean, we were we were in the works of a, a new show, pre pandemic, <laughs> um, so it's on hold right now. But uh, a show that will definitely make Face Off fans happy. Awesome! I'm looking forward to it. It's super excited. It's virtual face off. <laughs> well, the what what I'll be doing will be, but we I was I was in the works of a real like production, like going like we had everything set and ready to go, and then everything <laughs> happened. So I mean, if you ever do like a nailed it version of face off, I'd love to join in, pretend I know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There, there's there, there's already too many. Uh, what do you call that? influencer makeup yeah. tutorials and i'm going they're not professionals <laughs> i know it's a little painful at times i know like, well, I guess... some of them are really good i gotta give some of them credit because some are really good it's but some... some of them it's like there's that first generation of influencers and then after that it's just like everybody stop. just yeah. stop <laughs> yeah. leave it at that first generation of influencers in the beauty world and, and special effects and then just stop <laughs> Leave it to the professionals. Exactly. I mean, after hanging out with, with makeup professionals and, and like knowing, you know, the theory and all, you know, everything that goes into yeah. designing makeup and then seeing these kids going, well, I'm going to try this new brush. And I'm like, oh, oh, you know, and it blows my mind. Like I said, there's that first generation that I have so much respect for. Mm-hmm. And then after that, it's like, ooh. But it blows my mind when you see some of these huge, huge Oscar winning artists that are so humble and I won't name names, but they are the sweetest, nicest, most humble people. And they've got a fraction of the social media followers that you'll see some makeup influencer. And that's just mind blowing to me. And they're making millions. And, and they stay quiet. Yeah. yeah, they're making millions off of ads, and it's like, but you get these other people that they're just they're quiet about it. And they just they do their craft. I mean, not now, obviously, but yeah. it's just it's always been so shocking to me that you've got you know these big, big, big Oscar-winning artists, and nobody well, knows who they are. Well, girl, you got the Westmore name, so <laughs> we, we we can start with that. <laughs> Once you start doing your tutorials, I think you'll be fine. <laughs> So basically, this was your backup plan, but I'm thinking this is getting to be a, a, a really good, uh, a really good. Yeah, this this became what what originally in, in my mind was a backup plan became like the best plan I could have ever <laughs> formulated. No pun intended. I mean, really, to to be doing what I'm doing now, um, working with QVC, and now I'm teamed up with Guthy Ranker. Wow. Uh, this has become a dream come true. I mean, this is beyond anything I could have ever ever done elsewise uh, i i really feel so blessed and so lucky that i'm i'm doing what i'm doing now and i love it because i know that with the products that i'm putting out there 
they're empowering women so much. You know, things like um, what my TSV was, which is the body coverage perfecter. It's actually what I have on right now because normally I'm like the color of this pillow. <laughs> um, but it's a, it gives coverage, it gives color, but it doesn't transfer onto stuff. Like I can, I can rub and wipe and it won't transfer onto stuff. And it lasts for like three, four days. So things like that. I know it's giving women confidence, um, you know, other products that, that we have on the line. And that's what I love. And that's, that's why I do what I do because I get so many, um, emails and messages from women that um you know just their lives are changed they they have freedom they have confidence back well during this this journey of from where you started uh this idea to where you are right now i mean what kind of struggles did you face a lot <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> there's some that I, I know i can't say for legal reasons <laughs> Um, but there, there were a lot of struggles. There were definitely a lot of ups and downs. There were a lot of very scary moments. Um, there were just so, it, it was not, you know, everybody thinks that, that some of these things are, are an overnight success and they never, ever are. It was definitely several years in the making and, um, just trying to get clearances on things and trying to, at one point it was even a matter of trying to get my own name. That became an issue. And I'll never forget my one business partner uh, emailed me on Christmas years ago. And the na the family name was, was going up for sale on December 24th. And the minute it hit midnight on the 25th, he bought it. And he presented it to me as a Christmas gift and said, wow. here's your family's name. So it was things like that, you know, ownership of my name, um, then getting formulations, uh, getting all that approved, doing clinicals. Because, you know, when it comes to makeup, you don't want to just put stuff out there. You want to make sure that you have side to me. You know, not everybody does this, but you want to be legitimate and you want to put science behind it. And that costs money. You got to do clinical studies. You got to do test studies. And uh, it's always very important to me that I always have that science behind my product. So that takes time and, and money. And, uh, you know, it really was just a, it was a labor of love for the longest time and testing and weeding out the people that were not good and, and did not have our best interests at heart and really learning true colors of people. That was a big one for me. Um, somebody that was very, very near and dear to the entire family, uh, ended up being one of, uh, one of the weirdest stories that I can't say much more, but just really shocking how it turned out. And, but now to this day, knock on wood, uh, it's, it's smooth sailing. Um, everything's been amazing. And like I said, since uh, my partner and I team forces with Kathy Ranker, they have been the best partners ever that I could have ever dreamt of working with. So are, are we going to be waiting for uh what do you call it? Uh, an infomercial? For <laughs> there is one. Actually, there is one. <laughs> Um, I've had an infomercial out for about a year now, but now it's cranking like nuts. I mean, I, I keep getting text messages from friends saying, I just saw you I like, oh my God, I just saw you here. I just saw you there. The best one that I've gotten so far though was, so the church that I go to, it's, it's Bel Air Press. I'm not Presbyterian, but I love their, their love of service. And I just love the pastor. He just always gives such a great message. And I'll never forget, they got real airtime on channel 13 last Sunday at 7 a.m. And I'll never forget getting a, 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 a private message from my pastor saying, you're not gonna believe who I saw after church on 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Your infomercial came on after the church <laughs> service. And to me, that was like, I just hit it big. I just got a DM from my pastor. This is huge. <laughs> <laughs> that was like startup to me. <laughs> wow. It's like, it, it, it's it's a nice little advertisement after the after church service. <laughs> so yeah, I mean we're we're you know not that I like not that it was a thing to follow the church, but just like so cool that my pastor saw it and, and a whole bunch of the congregation saw it and so yeah, there's there's been an infomercial shop for a while now and yet again we were getting ready to film another infomercial for a new product we have that's uh, really doing well. It's a, an eye gel that uh, diminishes the appearance of bags, wrinkles, puffiness. It really is like Botox in a bottle, and it works for 24 hours. And it doesn't crack or flake or turn white. The color corrects. And it's really another magical product. And we were just getting ready to film an infomercial and pandemic happened. So, All right. So how do you balance, um, you know, running a business and, and being a mom? Um, it's definitely a balance. 
what I find is I'm, I'm very lucky that to have the parents that I do, the family that I do, my husband's a huge help. Um, the biggest thing for me personally is the notepad in my phone and my calendar. And I just really have to plot out what days are when, what's happening when. I mean, this again, this is pre-pandemic. Right now it's a little easier because we're all in the house together. So it's more just my son goes to his room and knows he has to turn his Wi-Fi off for a little bit. <laughs> um, but prior to that, it really was about creating um, a good habit of lining up the days, lining up the times, what's going on, who's going where, who's on first, <laughs> and just making sure that I had a, a really ironclad calendar set in place and that everybody knew what was going on between my mom and me and, you know, even Maddox, he would know the schedule of like the calendar. And is he at my house? Is he at dad's house? Where is he going to be? So it was just creating that calendar and knowing, um, you know, really plotting out everything so that he came first and he knew that and he was set to good to go. And then I could plan out everything around that. That's all. Awesome. I mean, and you still get to enjoy time with your son and yeah, go on vacations and yeah yeah and that that's actually the bummer for us as a family i mean obviously there are far worse things going on and it could be happening but we had our first family vacation set for july and it was the first time we were going to all the, go away together as a family and it's canceled now obviously oh, that's worse yeah. than that. we had a my it, lockdown started on my daughter's birthday in march oh, no. and so that was the last day of school for her and she didn't know that. And we had, it was going into um, spring break. So we had oh, camping, yeah. theme parks, all these things that are just like, oh, gone. <laughs> gone. Yeah. And then, you know, now they're, they're thinking they're going to start school in July and I'm going, huh, well, there goes our summer too. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know we're in a different um, school district and we just got word that there is no option of starting school anytime soon it's a different it's not well, we're not we're not los angeles uh, school district so it's uh from the email we got it they're saying no there's there's no consideration of starting anytime soon same here i think they're they're gonna go ahead and they've already canceled the entire school year and yeah. i i had my first uh pta meeting last night and you know got a board on the on the next year's pta just because i there, they, there, there was a lot of stuff that 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 were missing. Even though I'm glad that they're around, there's, you know, seeing that it was only the second PTA meeting of the year. Yeah. At the, at the end of the year, and it's via Zoom, and it's like, okay, let's let's let, let's get up with technology and make sure every all the communication is there. But yeah, yeah. it's wild because for for us, Maddox is leaving his school and starting high school. So it's a little nerve wracking for him, you know, but I explained to him, I said, every other kid is going to be in the same boat. You're all going to be starting, you know, post pandemic and nobody's going to be starting before you or after you and you're all starting together. But it's, it's a really, it's even as a parent, it's weird that, you know, he's finishing middle school and going into high school and, you know, there's, there's like a, a there's a sense of loss there, you know, for, for me, I don't know if he necessarily feels it, but I know for me, there's definitely that sense of loss of getting to enjoy that time of graduating middle school and going mm. into high school. Like there's, there's no transition. Now. And it, it, yeah, you don't, you get, you don't get the closure and then moving, moving on. And the fact that we have kids in yeah. high school, yeah. how did that happen? I know. How did that happen? <laughs> When did that happen? When did that happen? <laughs> were we just in high school? We were just in high school, so yeah. like singing, singing Enigma, and the and the the, the the remember they were at the over at the cafeteria. Oh, eating <laughs> our, Panda Express. Yeah, our our dollar dollar rice and uh, orange chicken. Yeah, and orange chicken. Yes, <laughs> or the chicken and broccoli. Mine was always the chicken and broccoli. <laughs> Uh, no wait wait don't forget the waffle fries you gotta have the waffle fries oh yeah i have the waffle fries polynesian sauce yep yep that, that was our meal laying on the grass remember uh -huh. laying on the grass laying on the grass <laughs> what was it the big, the big college thing that that we would all go to what was that the, like because we were on the college campus yeah but remember uh, we would all hang out at the college center the student union the student union thank yeah. you the student Union. Oh my God! That, that's all gone now. That's all torn down. There's a new student Are you union. Up. Confucius has been moved. Oh uh, my God! It, you need to visit. You do have to. I'm visit. gonna have to go visit. Yeah, I gotta go visit. 
and, and you you missed the 35th anniversary i didn't I know. know your dm was was locked out i was trying to get you over there but oh. it, 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 it was fun was it <laughs> I, I ended up no, I, I missed a lot I ended up being one of the producers and we, you know, oh, that's so cool. I know I missed so much. I, I'm, I know one of them, I was doing face off and then the second one I was doing QB. There's like always like the timing was like, ah, no. And they're like, we need a, a host or MC. And I'm like, Oh crap. So I was trying, trying to get you. I'm like, Oh, next one. Next yeah. one. But we, we got, we had, uh, we had uh, Taryn kill him. Very cool. That's so very, very cool. He's, he's hilarious. He was making fun of Josh Groban the whole time. <laughs> how could you not <laughs> and i was love at, josh I, I was at josh's house like two days before the thing too so it was, it was good to meet up with my old friends and you know kick it with them for a little bit so so what's 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 next with uh what's next with uh westmore beauty well we just launched a couple of new products one is a, a hair root concealer which is perfect for the days that we're in right now um, it's, it actually conceals roots. Um, I don't have it on right now, but I should, uh, it conceals grays, it conceals white parts. Um, and it is waterproof, sweatproof, transfer proof, lasts all day until it's washed out. Um, we launched a, what's called a 60 second face effect, which I like to call facelift in a tube. Um, and it's, uh, for targeted zones of the face. What we're starting to do more with Western Beauty and also too, we're, we're launching more products to go along with the body coverage perfecter. So there was a lotion that was just launched. We have an exfoliator coming, uh, an oil-free soap that's coming. A lot of great products that are coming down the pipeline. Uh, and what we're kind of transitioning the company into is going from a color cosmetics, which we still will be, but also more into, for lack of a better words, a, a special effects cosmetic company. So it's it's really like special effects for every woman at home to look and feel her best instantly within within seconds to minutes. That's awesome. So I mean, closing this out, I mean, give a what's a great advice that you would like to give to moms who want to start their own business? You know, the best advice is you just got to keep chipping away. You know, a lot of things might get thrown at you that could take you down and you just have to not let things take you down. And, and if you feel like something's taking you down, try to find that one person in your life or several people in your life that can help give you that hand to pull you back up. Because I know there were definitely days where I had that. I was on the floor sobbing and my husband would come and pick me up and say, you, you rode through worse, you're going to make it through this one. Uh, you just can't give up. You know, the, it takes days, months, years to make a dream come true, but you've got to keep going. You've got to keep at it. And it's, it's that drive. And it's what I like to say, the hustle, you know, I will never stop hustling. And, and I know some people don't like that word, but it, it couldn't be a better word or more true word that it is all about that hustle. And you just got to keep plugging away and pushing at it and making that dream come true because it will eventually just got to keep pushing. Thank you, Mackenzie. Thank you for just, for for stepping up and, and and coming out and just hanging out yeah and catching up it's been awesome and it work where, where can people find westmore beauty uh westmorebeauty.com also on qvc if you go to westmore beauty on qvc.com and then you can also find on instagram there's westmore beauty or my instagram which is m westmore um and then facebook twitter um at least i'm on twitter under Mackenzie westmore no e um, but yeah, it's, it's all over. You can find us everywhere. All right. Thank you, Mackenzie. Thank you. Bye. Bye. And that was Mackenzie Westmore of Westmore Beauty. I want to thank all of my guests for this week's episode of the Mundizi podcast, Evelyn, Petra, April, and Mackenzie for their insight and inside look at being a mom entrepreneur, a boss mama. I've added the links to their businesses below so you can click on them and, and check them out. Um, and before I forget, a very special, early, happy Mother's Day to all of you. So on next week's episode, the Mundizi podcast celebrates nurses. I've invited some very special people to join the podcast. Some are frontliners in this pandemic war, and they truly have a strength in the calling that's unbelievable. With that said, I'd like to do something special for them. So if you want to sponsor a nurse, please comment or DM me. I've also launched a small Shopify store. You see the link in the description also. And all the profit from the sale of the Six Foot Apart shirt will go to ordering food for frontliners. So support and get a nice shirt as well. 
Don't forget to check out the podcast on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and the wonderful folks at Anchor FM. Our anchor.fm. And if you like this podcast, hit the support button on the description. Thank you again for listening and watching. Don't forget to like, share, and repeat the Mendizi Podcast. <laughs> Yeah, yeah.